What's going on YouTube? This is Dre the Plug coming at you guys with some more technical heat. And in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to actually make a light strip. Like this was a pretty fun project that I just knocked out. So basically, typically they have light strips where it flows from like left to right or from right to left. I'm actually show you guys based on the code, how to control the flow of the lights. And then on top of that, something else, I couldn't find this on the internet nowhere, right? So I pretty much came up with a way to code the light strips for the exact type of color you want. But if you wanna even pick your own designated color and customize it to your own type of flavor, you could do that too. So I'm gonna just go in and show you guys the code, show you guys the breakdown, go through each individual part. So I really have a really good understanding of it after looking at color numbers. The color numbers was the one thing that was kind of confusing to me, but I actually understand it perfectly now and it'll be just easy to like, bring that onto the code and understand and show you guys everything about it from start to finish so y'all can have your own custom light strip it's really really dope let's get into the video let's get into the breakdown of some of this technical heat all right so jumping into the code real quick so first and foremost you see what we have fast led.h so without this library you're not going to be able to make leds flow so let me just go in and show you guys. You're gonna to go to tool and then you're gonna to go to manage libraries and inside of this box, you're basically gonna type fast LED and you're gonna install that library to your Arduino ID. So you're just gonna type fast LED. And as you guys can see right here, mine already shows that it's installed. So I can't really do it, but I mean, if it, was, if it wasn't installed already, right? Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So yeah, I just put this. So basically, yeah, you'll just click here and it'll install the fast LED right then and there. So anyways, mine's installed. This is how it'll look if it's installed. If not, I believe the letters will just be black because it won't be implemented. So we have include fast LED H. Then we have define LED underscore pin. It could be whatever you want this to be. I just so happen to have it as this. And then it says seven. So that's where my actual pin will go into the Arduino, right? I just pick seven. Could this be another number? Yeah, you could pick any other number for this right here. Then next I have the fine number LED, the same exact thing, but this just lets you know how many lights are gonna be lit up, but that number 50, it won't be lit up. So think about it like this. If I wanted 10 LED strips to actually show up and actually have the light be presented and turned on, right? If I pick 10 and I'll actually wanted 10 to show this number right here will be 11 so that that's just let you know always have one above how many lights that you actually want to be turned on because then when you actually go in and put in your colors it'll be one number below so see how this is 50 all of the numbers right here is all 49 49 49 49 49 49, 49. just showing you guys real quick but now so jumping into you got our voice set up this the line that pretty much allows us to get the light strip to work properly also then we're going to go to our void loop so we have a for loop you have our parameters so what we're going to do is go int x equal to zero right so that's our first range our second range is x is less than or equal to 49 so that's pretty much our range that's going to help our color be shown onto our led And then we know which direction it's gonna be because it has plus plus. Plus plus just mean go up by one. If it was minus minus, that would mean go backwards by one. As you guys can see, all of the other ones are all going backwards and this one is going forward. So from right here, we have LED X. Mind you, see how you keep saying X? This could be named whatever you want as long as you stay consistent. It's just the value that we're picking throughout our code. And to give you guys another breakdown right here, this will be our color. So zero, zero, two, five, five. That pretty much just lets you know that's color blue in the actual RGB color, um, basically color combination. That lets you know zero, zero, two, two, five. And then right here we have the same exact thing, fast LED dot show, and then we have delay 10, cause we want it to kind of go pretty quick, right? Give it that real flowing effect. If I wanted it to go slower, I could easily go right here and make it as a hundred milliseconds. But I just put 10 cause I want it to really just take off. And this is your color for blue. Let me show you real quick exactly why this one is blue. 
all right so jumping into it as you guys can see we have zero zero 255 right so we need to see how do we get that number what does that number do so basically look at red green and blue so specifically we want blue the other numbers will be zero so even to double check let's just say i go here right as you guys can see right there this is blue zero zero 255 then my next one you see is 255 then we have zero zero as we can see right here so I could just actually go in and then boom, it's right there. 255, then I have a zero, zero. So then right here for orange, I have it at 255, 128, and then I have zero. Going to green, I actually add zero, zero, 255, then zero again. There we go, it's right there for the green. Then if I want pink, it's right here. As you guys can see, I have a little like kind of like a hot pink it's 255 zero and then 127 so these are all the ranges that help you actually get that specific color and what I like about these light strips is that you get to legit pinpoint each individual color you want so you could pick any color on here and you could pretty much get it but something to note black all that means is like the light won't come on at all it would, the light will basically not turn on but you can still get the color white though just letting you know and then, like I said, you could just go through this whole entire thing. So if you want, right, let's say you only want one color. You can literally just use this right here and that'll be it. Everything below it, well actually, everything below this point where he says four, everything below this point will be gone. Let me actually show you guys what I'm talking about. So if I just deleted that, delete it, delete it right there. Get, make sure my stuff is organized. Let's say I verified it, right? as you guys can see it's working perfectly everything went through everything's good everything's good there we go it just took a little delay it just took a little delay with this new ide it actually takes a delay every single time you upload it versus the older one where you just press upload and it'll just instantly just show the white letters to let you know that everything's working right but yeah if you just wanted to just add a one this is pretty much what you would do then if I hit control Z right, let's just say I go right back. And if I wanted to just change these orders around, I could do that too. So if I wanted this red to be at the top, or I wanted this blue to be at the bottom, then it'll do red and then it'll do the blue one if I wanted to go that way. So one last thing that I want to actually show you guys how to control is how to make it flow. So with the red and the blue, with the red and blue right here, let me just jump into the blue first. So this little area right here, the X, your, var your, your variable, and then the plus plus, that's what's gonna let you know specifically what direction it's gonna go. So we have X plus plus. So that is what's gonna let you know the specific direction that the LED strips is gonna flow. So as you see, you have your variable X plus plus. So that's gonna let it, you know that it's gonna flow out first going um, with blue. Then right here, you see how you have X minus minus X minus minus X minus minus. So then once it flow out, when it comes back, these are the different colors that come back. Just to let you guys know. For some reason, when you try to make it go plus, then out and then plus again, it could sometimes mess with the code. It could sometimes tweak it, especially when the voltage is at five volts, it'll definitely tweak it and kind of mess it up. But I mean, in general, after going through a whole bunch of different light strip tests, it actually worked perfectly when I did the plus plus minus minus. It just went um straight down with just different type of minuses. But I mean, if you ask me, it, it looks a little bit better when you go with the out and then they all come back the other direction also. So if you guys want to go in and just change that, if you want it to be plus plus minus minus plus plus minus minus, y'all could do that too. But I'm just giving you guys the option. When you see a variable next to plus plus, all that means is it's going to increase by one. The minus minus just means it's gonna decrease by one. So that's how you know it's gonna flow out and then it's just gonna flow back. And then after it flows back, it's gonna flow back again in orange, flow back again in the green, then flow back again in the pink. And that's pretty much the code and so on. And I mean like, yeah, I just put like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colors, right? But if you guys wanted to, y'all could fill this all the way up. Y'all could make it go on all the way until all of the memory on the Arduino is full if you want to. 
But yeah, man, this is pretty much your whole entire code. Of course, of course, I'm gonna copy and paste it and drop it for you guys to actually use it for you guys like strip if you want to use this for any type of project let me know what y'all think let me know if y'all have any questions and that concludes this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe it really do help my channel when it comes down to the youtube algorithm if you guys have any questions regarding anything just hit me up on instagram hit me up on the gram at dre the plug one two three and then also go check out my other YouTube channel. This is actually my second channel. My first one was called Andre Classic Cuts. I basically go in and give tutorials about all types of different haircuts. I actually show people how to do different type of things with the clippers that has never been done. And I pretty much go into detail as to why certain things happen. So definitely go check out that channel. Besides that, be on the lookout for my next content that's dropping. Be on the lookout for it because it's coming real soon. And I'm out.